Hi, Leo Collective. I'm pulling on the energies for you today. Hope y'all are doing fine. I'm well. I thought I'd do an intent of the universe draw for you. See what the universe has in store. I'm gonna use these uh, metaphysical cannabis cards. Let's see what we get. All right. We get choices. This is the intent of the universe. So the universe wants you to make a choice. Give you choices. The flow of the universe um, starts with the equalizer, your higher self. So your higher self's coming in, your oversoul. And then we get tradition, traditional. So the universe, the universe's intentions is to give you choices or have you make your choices. Um, to go from contacting your higher self to doing something <clears throat> traditional. We'll have to dig into that a little more. Um, divine guidance is bliss, trust, trust in the universe. Um, what else? Trust in your vision for the new world. This reminds me of somebody, see these gates here? It's like you're standing at the threshold. Gates are opening and you are, your vision is what is creating what is on the other side of these gates. Um, yes. I go over to, um, can I go, can I go there? Oh no, don't go there. I'm living next to Koga. Um, just wait until she comes back. And then I get Grace with Divine Guidance. Where is this one? I need to see her. <clears throat> so trust in your vision and have Grace. The stabilizing forces here. We have um, channel, animal energy. So stabilizing forces, you're a channel. Um, healing, you know how to heal? Yeah, go ahead. Come right back though, okay? And my nose is itching. It's driving nuts. Okay. Um, offering. Stabilizing force. You're offering healing to the world. The witch doctor is a stabilizing force. And that's wisdom. And to me, I get like that's wisdom of the spiritual realm and the physical realm. You're grounded and you're um, a channel. You're an open channel. All right. What is the um, actions to take? Memory. Embrace your memories. Remember, use them for your power. Anything that triggers you, just heal from it. Transformation. Allow yourself to grieve or be angry or whatever you need to do. And treat yourself. 
transformation. Continue with your transformation as a action. Yeah, continue with your healing. If you have any triggers, you just you have some healing left to do. Sex magic. Possibly you're coming into union with a lover. Um, and you can use sex as, as a healing tool also. I can. Food meditation. Make sure that you're eating plenty of um, fruits and vegetables. This helps with your um, downloads and your, your DNA upgrades because the fresh fruits and vegetables are directly connected to Gaia. Um, peace. Keep your peace of mind as a <clears throat> action, suggested action. All right, let me get some clarifier cards with the tarot here. It looks to me like the universe's intention for you is for you to set your intentions. <laughs> You're tapped in. This is really, this looks really good. You're using your memories from the past that are possibly that are triggering you to continue your healing transformation. You're possibly coming into union to be able to continue your healing with a partner. All right, let's clarify choices. <clears throat> Art. Fourteen, I forget. <clears throat> I forget which one that is. It's called Art on this deck. This is, this deck, this is the Urban Tarot. And it's set up like, um... Alistair Crowley's thought, um, thought tarot. What was I looking up? Oh yeah. Yeah, temperance. Okay, so the universe, <coughs> universe's intentions is for you to transmute energy and to be the earth angel that you came to earth to be. And um, you're going to be balancing energies by the choices that you make. So be sure to make firm choices is what I'm hearing. Firm decisions. All right, let's clarify this higher self with the flow. Um, Ten of Swords inverted. So you are coming out of oppression. <clears throat> coming out of oppression and connecting with your higher self. This is what you've already done. And then clarify tradition. Um, seven of swords, inverted. So <clears throat> you're, you're going from being oppressed or coming out of oppression to, um, coming out of this feeling of, um, being betrayed lied to, stolen from. All right. 
let's clarify that again. Um, clarify Seven of Swords inverted in tradition. Um, I get the tower and Knight of Discs inverted, which is the King of Pentacles. Okay, so it looks to me like <clears throat> you're coming into this time where you're going to be um, speaking out truths about people who have betrayed you and you are um one of these people would be like the king of pentacles inverted somebody that's ruthless somebody that is losing all their money so you, you're bringing the tower in for these people by speaking your truth okay Let's clarify um, divine guidance trust. Two of Pentacles. Um, trust in the change that's coming. It's divinely guided. Um, seven of Pentacles inverted. <clears throat> You're uncovering this money that was taken from you, 7-7. Seven, seven. There's some kind of a transition coming in. Seven's the number of transition. You see this coming. Somebody who sowed seeds to have you to take your money is um you are overturning there there are going to be no longer this is how i'm seeing this all right clarify grace and divine guidance the full So we're going with that whole trust, trust um, theme again and the divine guidance. The divine wants you to trust in the divine and to go on this fool's journey and basically take whatever comes towards you. You're being divinely guided and you're starting out on a new journey. So you're going to have to trust the divine to guide you in this new territory <clears throat> you're being immortalized and stabilize and stabilizing forces in the channel the channel is immortal clarify that oh healing clarify healing and stabilizing forces yeah you're healing from um you're healing from prince of swords inverted from somebody that came at you and basically just talked a lot of crap and um tried to bring you down tried to bring down somebody who's immortal okay clarify offering the sun stabilizing force is that you are offering your success to the world. You're offering your 
knowledge of what you've uncovered, um, the clarity that you've uncovered in your spirituality. This is going to bring you great success too. Clarify the witch doctor. Ace of Swords. You know, I was saying about the witch doctors, you're wise in the spiritual realm and you're also wise in the physical realm. And you clarify this with the truth, the Ace of Swords. That's the truth. You're very stable in that. Clarify um, memory and actions to take. Make sure you're not blocking out any memories because of triggers just let it come up and deal with it um prince of cups remember um people that have loved you in your past clarify prince of cups Um, okay. Remember these friends and family that betrayed you and dumped out all your love, three of cups inverted. Remember how these people left you out in the cold. Remember how they wanted you to have nothing and tried to make sure that you had nothing. Remember that, don't block those memories out. This is gonna be very important coming into your future. Because these people are going to tell you they love you. Uh, likely you're going to revisit some of these people from your past <clears throat> that stole from you, betrayed you, um, talked crap about you tried to bring you down, tried to take you down in general. So remember when they come back and because you are in the limelight and you've got people, <clears throat> you've got people watching you and admiring you. And just remember when these admirers come back, remember, don't forget, about how they tried to take your happiness and they tried to take all your love so you didn't have any love in your life and they tried to leave you out in the cold in financial ruin homeless total destruction clarify um transformation for actions to take seven of wands inverted the universe is asking you to not be defensive. You know, you've, you've established exactly what happened, who these people are, and um, going forward, you don't want to be defensive towards people that you meet in your future because of these people from your past. Six science. I forget which that what that one is too now. The lovers. Under sex magic. Oh, that makes sense. All right. So actions to take is to um, bond with your lover. Use sex as a tool for healing and bonding and sharing unconditional love. Ace of Cups. To clarify, I can. Your cup is full. 
you can do anything you want to going into the into the future because you filled your own cup of love. You connected with source and filled your own cup. Now your cup's overflowing and you can do anything that you set your mind to. Is that piece from Ruin? You're turning um, your pain into power. I get ten of swords. You're finding your peace straight out of your pain. That makes you very powerful because people can't take you down when pain only makes you more powerful. You just become a, a more worthy opponent or an opponent that they should just leave alone. All right, Leo Collective, I hope you enjoyed that. And I want you to have a wonderful day. I'll get back to you soon. Thank you.